Hi, this is John at the Grape and Granary, and today I'm going to show you how to do an acid titration. The first thing I'm going to do is measure out 15 milliliters of our wine sample, and this is just a, a white wine. I'll put that into a small test vial, and I'm going to put a couple of drops of color solution in. This will help us to see the color change. Basically what we're doing is we're adding a alkaline substance to an acidic one. The alkaline substance is the sodium hydroxide, and the acidic substance is the wine. If we know how much of the alkaline substance it takes, we'll know how much acid we have. So, I'll draw up 10 cc's of the sodium hydroxide, and I'll add it 1 milliliter or 1 cc at a time, watching for a color change. So, there goes 1 milliliter, and you can see I really didn't get much color change, so I'll add a second one. And I'm adding, and I'm agitating, and I'm adding, and I'm agitating. This will be the third. And you can see there that we have a little bit of a color change, but it changes right back to white. We'll add a fourth milliliter, and then a fifth, and again, we're seeing more and more color, and it takes longer for the color to dissipate until the point where we get that we have a nice deep pink color and the color does not fade with agitation. When we've reached that point, that is our reading. In this case, it's taken me 7 milliliters or 7 cc's to get the color to change to a deep dark pink. When I add another cc, the color doesn't change, so we don't count that one. Our reading on this wine would be 0.7 or 7 milliliters or 7 grams per liter of tartaric acid. Testing, 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 one, two, three.